Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, we're back. Episode 27 of the B-Graders, and guess what? He showed up. I didn't think he would. He said he wasn't coming, but the big fella said, bugger it, I'm back in. How are you, Matt? I'm good. I re-signed my contract. Oh, you got you? That, you, I got the big I contract got, for zero. I, I re-signed my contract. Thanks for turning up out of the goodness of your heart, though. That's we, right, we, we do appreciate it. Hey, we do it for do it for Adam. We do it for Adam. Big weekend in WA cycling. Collie, Donny Book and Return and an old mate. An old, Hashtag old mate. Hashtag Gary Boylan style. Has it tattooed on his Gary arm? Gary Boylan style. Congratulations, Gaza. Winner of Collie Donnybrook. And I gotta say, I do love the fact that Boylan's won it. Because, you know, he won it from the, well, out, the outer limits. The outer limits. Outer of the, limits of the, of the handicap. Of I mean, you couldn't have got any further out. And no, 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 good, no, luck, no, like no, good luck to him because you race the mark you're given. You race the mark you're given, and plus, he's quite a number of years older than us, and we're not young. However, I'm, I much prefer seeing somebody who has the pedigree of someone like Gary Bourne winning at this stage uh, of his career. Uh, winning such a big one like Collie Donnybrook. So big well done to Gary Boylan. Yeah, it was a fantastic effort. And look, you know, he may be almost a professional bike rider now. He's retired. <laughs> Tired, but he, living the life of luxury. He's living the life of luxury. But the fact of the matter is he's 100 years old and he still won the bike race. <laughs> what the are we going to be doing at that same age? Oh, probably I don't, not, probably, I don't even do that now. You saw my old man. He might not have Unfortunately, a Unfortunately, yes. Yeah. So the fastest time was done by Craig Wiggins, the boy from Albany, coached by Stuart, the great Stuart Passmore. One of the... Only, sorry to cut you off, one of the only riders to win fastest time as a junior. Yeah, I know. It's very fan rare fan to see it as a junior. Fantastic. And, of course, he put away... Michael Freeberg. Is the... there a sprint that Michael Freeberg can't lose? <laughs> and apparently not. Apparently not. Not in WA, anyway. And a big well done. First woman across the line, Alicia Alatina from the bikebookings.com team. Well done, Alicia. Magnificent nice effort. Nice bike, too, on an Eddie Merckx. Eddie Merckx. Apparently they go all right. They I, go well. Yeah, they someone, go well. someone told me about that. Now, coming up. It's the first race specifically put on for the Element Series, and it's in York. It's on the 2nd to 3rd of September. It is a two-day tour, two stages on the Saturday, closed road criterium on the Sunday. Apparently, there's a Grand Fondo on as well for well, those who don't be, want to race. It's going to be a very busy weekend because I led to believe the York Festival is on the Saturday. Uh, yeah, so the, the Shire is right behind the event. They're closing so. roads. They're, they're giving us preference for the bike race. Uh, it's Get going closing to... roads, preference for the bike race, which is all very good and well, but rem good, good. But remember, folks, if you're racing there that day, do not leave it to the last minute to get there because there is going to be a fair bit of traffic to get up there. York and the police department up there are going to do everything for the bike race, but they aren't going to roll the red carpet out for people jumping the gun to get into oh, York. Absolutely. absolutely. Okay. And let me say, I'm really happy about this one. I have actually entered. And if you enter early enough, you get a $100 pedal mafia voucher. So that means you get your money back. And, but I've entered because masters are included. Masters are included. I tell you what, some people are watching this show. And I'll tell you why people are watching this. Cycle, Sport, WA on bended knee have asked they for our help. They were begging. They're like the guy begging. on Hay Street with the hat oh my going, goodness. I need work. I need work. Can you help me? And we're going to help them. They have donated to us three double entries. Double so entries. you and a mate, you and a mate, you and a mate, get entry to this event. Now, it doesn't cover your day licence if you don't have a licence. No. It doesn't cover you know the bits and pieces, but it gives you the entry to the two days. Now, what we need from you, so ladies that's and six gentlemen... six people all together. That's right. That's $600 worth of value. $600 plus you worth don't, of value. But you don't get the Pedal Mafia voucher. But that's no, right. you don't get the Pedal but Mafia. But you, you're not paying anything. What we need from you, email to us, matt1 at iinet.net.au, why we should give you the entry, why you're special enough to get the entry. And the best three entries, the best three emails we get... We'll get the free entries, and you can take your mate. It could be your wife. It could be your girlfriend. Anyone else who wants be... to race. Somebody you don't even like. Uh, yeah, it could be. This could be the start of a friendship for you and somebody you hate. Yeah. Now, one thing is, I'm not taking one of the entries. Adam's not taking one of the entries. And I've already and he's paid he's already entered. So there's nothing underhand here. Six people are going to get these entries if you email. You must email us. Don't just send us a messenger. Messenger won't work. has to be the email. matt1 at iinet.net.au. We will 
adjudicate this and we will let you know who wins. And then we'll send your details through to Glenn Taraki at uh, Cycle Sport WA and he will enter you into the bike race. Thank you, Cycle Sport WA. Anything we can do to help Cycle oh, Sport look, WA they, get they their are, races yeah. on the road. Absolutely, more racing the better. Now, we had uh, Masters on the weekend. We had uh, West Coast Masters at Chidlow B, the worst course that I've it's ever ridden. It's the hard man's course, and it the hard is. man result is followed on. Sam Smith and Paul Miller, two, count them, two World, World Champ Grand Fondo champions, champions from 2016. They finished nearly two minutes up on the next man, which was Paul Mackay. Gary Gale won B grade, Keith Hickey won C grade, Jerry Allen won E grade, and, and an old mate from yesteryear, who's my age, Owen Henderson finally got up and took a win in D grade, so see you in C grade very shortly. Yeah, now, absolutely. incidentally, talking with Merv Byfield, feeler sponsor of the show, Merv Byfield, on average, West Coast Masters pay out $1,000 every single weekend over the five categories of racing. It's pretty good, isn't it? That is good. It's not bad for a $20 entry. $20 entry, five bucks for your, uh, what do you call it, transponder, if you haven't so got a transponder. So they would make it 25 thousand dollars every single week the problem is you've got to get across the line you do have to in get the in the first half dozen or so and, well you got to do top five but like fifth place gets 30 bucks which is more than your entry so that's just something now okay euro guy what's happening in the vuelta well first day team time trial went from france to madrid so somewhere in france close to madrid it was only a short one won by bmc rocked by a doping scandal but didn't stop ron dennis taking the red jersey nope. first time up in a pretty quick time now, and then they had uh, a sprint stage won sneakily by uh, a quick step rider, forgotten his name. Can't remember his name. But Adam's going to throw it up on the screen for us. He will, but he Adam. jumped away uh, from a, a select group in massive crosswinds, massive crosswinds, and, oh. and there was bunches, little breaks between the GC riders, and the best out of that was... Chris Froome. Well, no, Nibali finished uh, 10 seconds ahead of Froome. Did on he? That day, yeah. Uh, and then stage two... After, which is really stage three if you don't take into account the prologue was a pretty mountainous day through Andorra and Nibali won it. Nibali won it. He won it well. Froom went into the jersey He though. did. He did go into the jersey. Now if you look at it, Nibali looked like he was going to get popped. He dangled off the back but then he dropped like a stone, caught uh, our, our Esteban. Our Esteban. Our Esteban. Aussie Esteban. Aussie Esteban and Froomey and uh, attacked him into the finishing one. It's good to see Esteban, he's used the Tour de France to get his legs right and he's come in with very good form for this tour. But Froome, you know, I like the fact that there's a, a mountain stage so early in the race. It yeah. just it shows it everybody who's got the legs. Uh, Nibali, going for a stage win, I don't know if he is no, the man he, for the tour though. I reckon he, he may be. He, like has being, said, he has said, I had no idea I'd be feeling this good this yeah. early and he, he were a really good Giro. Yeah, yeah. He Rested seems to be well. more like a three week, a third week gladiator, doesn't he, yes, Nibali? He, That's he how he usually goes. He always comes good. Now, also, in Germany, I think it was the Vattenfall Classic. Elia Viviani. Yeah, last Elia year. Viviani. Last year won by Carla Bjorn. This year. Elia Viviani. He's just transferred to... He will be transferring to the Quickstep team next yep. year. It was a great win. He, he beat all the sprinters who aren't at the Vuelta because there's no sprinters at the Vuelta. Madolo's the only one. Dan Kolb's there, but... He's no not really case. a sprinter. No. no. Now, uh... Coming up this week, Dog Hill, Dog Hill, Bold Ivers, Bold Ivers, Masters. Uh, year in Blue this Thursday at Cinema Paradiso. We will be there, so you can come talk to us. You maybe have a selfie with the famous YouTube sensations. You from can the give us graders. your opinion of us in person. Yeah, and we promised not to punch you. Tickets are I still a, still available at Eventbrite tickets, and uh, there's a few left at the fifteen dollar price. There is. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there's been quite a bit of sadness in the world of cycling here in Australia over the last week to 10 days. First of all, unfortunately, we lost Stephen Waldridge, Olympic champion, four-time World Teams Pursuit champion, a very good friend of ours, Graham Brown, and also Peter Dawson, rode with him for the best part of 10 years as part of the Australian cycling team. Unfortunately, Stephen passed away last week, and early this week, we had the news, the very sad news, um, that Gary West, the man who is best known nowadays for being the super coach of the Australian sprint cycling team, incidentally, Anna Mears, uh, passed away, lost his battle with MND. Gary was a superb cyclist in his day. He was a Commonwealth Games gold medalist and also Olympic team member. 
We would like to leave you today with these images of both Stephen and Gary and we wish their families, friends and everyone in cycling who's been touched by these two tragedies all the very best.